I think about this every once in a while. What, what's my top favorite retro consoles? Doesn't even have to be retro consoles, just consoles all together. What's my top favorite? Like if I were to be on an island all by myself and actually had electricity, what three consoles would I pick to take with me if I could only have three? The NES would be on there. It would definitely be there. The Super Nintendo for sure. And then obviously the PlayStation. I would play the crap out of the Super Nintendo and the PlayStation if I was on an island all stranded by myself, screwing coconuts and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? The PlayStation, so many fond memories. It was just the the most obvious, like, moving along from the Super Nintendo out of anything at the time. It continued on a lot of franchises. It continued on that feel with the Japanese role-playing games. A lot of cool stuff was on the PlayStation. Not to knock any other consoles, but the PlayStation 1 was freaking awesome. One thing that always bugged me was back in the day with these damn memory cards. And I, I had a bunch of them. You know, you, you only had limited space if you got, like, a first-party memory card and filling those things up. I remember being a, a gamer on a budget and having to decide, fuck, I can't buy another memory card. What save file am I going to delete? What am I going to shift around? What's happening here? It was a pain in the ass back in the day. If you're like me and you still like to use some original consoles, the PlayStation 1 can still have that, you know, kind of a nuisance. And that's where the 8-bit mods memory card pro comes in. Why am I so damn excited about a memory card? This is just ridiculous. Like, this just tickled the taint for me in, in an extreme fashion. It's like the unlimited memory card. Like, seriously, when you really consider what's going on here, it is ridiculous. This thing has tons of features. It has freaking Wi-Fi built in. It has an OLED display. This is freaking nuts. It takes micro SD cards, but you don't have to, like, you know, pluralize it. You don't have to put cards uh, you could just have a single micro SD card. I have a 16 gigabyte one popped into this bitch right now, and that is a ton of space. Why? Because every gigabyte that you have on that micro SD card that you pop into this thing is the equivalent of over 8,000 memory cards. You'll never use all that. So I have like 16 times 8,192, whatever that is. I'll, I'll Freaking put that math up on the screen. It's a ridiculous amount I will never need to use. But it's freaking sweet with that display you have on this thing. Oh, my God. And it pairs nicely with ODEs, optical drive emulators. And I do have the X station in my PlayStation 1, which this PlayStation 1 was actually bought from 8-Bit Mods, the ultimate like PlayStation 1 with the X station, the PS1, HDMI, all that good stuff. But with this memory card, it, it syncs up nicely with that, recognizes the game. It has like a database. Like you don't even have to set any of that up. It just recognizes the game, sets up a memory card, boom, for that game. You are rocking, ready to roll. But with all the, the features this thing has, it's, it's ridiculous. Wi-Fi? The hell do I need Wi-Fi on a memory card for? Holy crap, but it actually comes in handy because you could just sync this up go into the little web user interface and update the firmware on it. There's going to be more features added eventually. I know there's like a, a card browser thing that doesn't work yet, which that could come in handy in the future, but it doesn't work yet. Should get, you know, worked in to actually work at some point in the future. Looking forward to messing around with that. But for the most part, I don't even really need to use all that stuff just to update the firmware every once in a while. I didn't use that to update the firmware initially. All I did was pop in from their manual, it gives you a link like where to download the uh, firmware for this thing, which you didn't even need to do right away. Like the card worked when I didn't even update the firmware, but I put that on the SD card, popped it in there. The memory card pro updated pretty quick. You know, this thing has an FPGA in it. It has like a dual core processor. This thing's got some technology going on here. It is freaking ridiculous, man. To be able to use this back up my other saves, like, I could take my other memory cards that I have and just put them on this and I'm just good to go. You know, just have all that stuff here. They're gonna have tons of new stuff coming out for this with different features as far as updates go. They have a lot of planned stuff is what I'm really trying to say. At launch right now, you know, it has that Wi-Fi connectivity with the limited use web UI. You could switch the active channel through the, uh, you know, the memory card, like you have different channels per memory card, that kind of thing. Uh, you could change that through the gamepad combination, 
which I don't really care for. I don't really need to use that using the X station. Or you could use the buttons that are actually on the memory card. There's like a little left and right little little nipple. You know, this thing's got some nipples on the side there. You just press those left and right to scroll through. Pretty neat stuff, but it's like kind of where you don't really need to mess around with too many things. The, the setup for the wireless stuff was pretty simple. Uh, you just got to connect to the network that the memory card like makes an access point on your PC, and then you can access the uh, web user interface. Then it has that, that ODE commands for automatic loading, game info, all that good stuff. The plan features, they're going to have where you can load stored memory cards remotely through the web UI and manage individual blocks. So that could come in handy as well. Local and cloud backup functionality through file rotations, a plan feature. Share saves with your friends. Download save and memory cards directly to your memory card pro, your mem card pro from a URL. And more surprises? What more surprises could they have for us? So they also have noted, which not anything I really care about, but there's compatibility issues as far as PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 adapters. While they state, while the, the memory card works on PS2 as a normal PS1 card does, like, you know, it saves when you're playing PlayStation 1 games, later slim models of the PS2 and the PS3 adapter are not compatible without modifying the PS2 or the PS3 adapter. I don't like, you, you know, the PS2 and the PS3 are both awesome systems, but I've never really like jumped back into them because for me, the PS1 was where it was at. There's a lot of games I loved on all those consoles. I, I really, you know, I really do like the PlayStation line of systems. Like you don't complicate things. The PlayStation, the PlayStation 2. What's next? What, what What's the one after that? Oh, the PlayStation 3 and then the 4. And then the five, there's no surprises when it comes to Sony with the naming of their home consoles. And I can appreciate that keeping shit simple. You ain't getting them grandmas out there accidentally buying the wrong thing because they didn't know. Oh, let me get an Xbox, uh, you know, one X little, little, little dumbass Timmy over there. You know, he, he, he wanted the, the Xbox. He said the, the, the X, right? That's, that's what he said. That's what he wanted. Okay. <laughs> just ridiculous. I, I mean, I just not really trying to bust Xbox's balls. I have an Xbox in my home. I have a 360. Love the 360 to death. The Xbox Series X is awesome. I have an Xbox One S as well. You know, previous generation. I love all these consoles, man. But yeah, them, that naming convention is ridiculous. PlayStation. Guys did something right. And 8-bit mods. They did something awesome with this Memcard Pro. Really enjoying it. Yes, I got freaking excited over a memory card. Hells yes. I'm enjoying it. It's working out great. Hope you guys appreciate my, uh, my, my, my ranting and rambling on here. Thank you very much. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom.